Okay guys, so today's goal, very covert today because we are in a very uh, uh, sketchy part of town, but uh, we see the uh, downtown Indianapolis that way. And we're going to, again, we want to get the downtown buildings in the shot. That's the whole point of this. So I'm going to take some different angles here. I am at 500th of a second, F11, 800 ISO. Now I'm going to move up a little bit. We're having some fun with it and we'll see what we can get because I can get one better angle up here and then I've got another shot I want to take back behind us down the street. So I'm going to go up here and I'm basically going to turn around. Uh, let's see. Okay. Again, kind of in a sketchy area here. So uh, one shot I want to take real quick here. I always thought it was kind of cool. And I want to get this right here. And there's something about that to me that's kind of cool. Okay, now I want to come up this way. And again, hopefully there are no people up here because it is not a, let's call it not a secure area, maybe not a safe area. So check the surroundings for people first, then for cool photos because there's an encampment back here. Okay, so I think I'm pretty safe. I just need to make sure no people jump out at me. Okay, so what I want to do is again, just get this simple shot of heading down the street. Okay, and I am at one four hundredth of a second, F11. It's, uh, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and crop up to 20 or 50. Let's see if we can get anything here. Let's back off. Can always crop. I don't anticipate. A lot out of this one, which that car was not there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, okay, no people, so this is kind of cool. I like the way this one's framed here. Not sure how much you guys can see of this, but uh, okay, this way, if I can get these cars off here with no cars, it would be even cooler, but I'm gonna make sure and get the shot about three quarters of the way. Here we go. There's no way really to get around the cars. There we go. Okay, you guys probably couldn't see much of that with the, uh, I was holding it up. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna press my luck here. Let's see what else we can come up with. Okay, this is really cool. I wanted to get a shot of this. Very neat. Oh, here comes a damn car. Oh, dang it. Of all the times. Okay, so I'm gonna pull in here and then back out. Here we go. Okay. There we are. Nice. Very, very, very nice. There used to be a mortuary or something like that, so not sure. Uh, but I just wanted to get a little closer. And now I'm going to get another shot of it. I kind of got out of the way there just in case he was pissed. Okay. So I wanted to get a shot of this. This used to be get down low here. This used to be like a mortuary or something. I'm not really sure. And I'll take that. Okay. And again, we were at 1320 of a second, F14, and about ISO 800. I was trying to get a lot of depth of field in there. So let's go ahead and head on down the road. I've got another couple places to go. Okay, so we're looking for a cool little shot here of downtown Indy. We're going to be going down that way too. Very cool that there's nobody down there. And uh, a couple little unique spots here that I've come across while shooting film with zoom lenses, which is a little easier than a 28 millimeter with cropping but we're gonna do it nonetheless, so here we go. So we are at, uh, we're gonna go 500th of a second, F8. We are at, uh, we're auto ISO, no reason. And we just got a cool little view here of downtown Indianapolis. Let's see if we do the 28 millimeter focusing on the buildings and we get the street lights in there. Whoops, 
that didn't come out very well. Okay, the beauty of this is, ah, crap. I was gonna say beauty of this is, it's a one lane road and nobody coming, but they are coming now, so we'll have to wait. Of course, there'll be a stoplight, a red light, of course. So they'll all stop and stare at me. Green now, okay. So we are at 35 millimeter crop. I've got my crop set here where I can go in, out, in, out, 28, 35, 50. I'm gonna take that 50 right there. Go ahead and focus. I'll bring that up in Lightroom a little bit. Let me kind of kneel down here a little bit and get a shot here. Not sure how much of that you can see. Oh, here comes a car. I guess you couldn't see any of that, could you? So uh, I think we've got what we wanted there. And I may, okay, I may shoot one more shot here after we get this line of cars out because I do want to do a vertical and get this uh, street light in. I like to use street lights and street lights and power lines in as much as possible, especially if you're shooting black and white. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but crank this up here. We've got the street light in there. Let me get this before some cars come. Make sure I get the whole street or the, the light pole is what I'm trying to say. Let me go ahead and back up here a little bit. Get here so we can get some of that in there. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Okay, again, not sure how much of that you were able to see, but some neat stuff. Now we're going to go down this little alleyway here, and there's another cool view that we can get. <clears throat> okay, here's another one of those that we have a very cool view of down. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Crank that up there a little bit. Okay, so once again, guys, just to make sure you are aware, we do have our UV filter there, our 49 millimeter UV filter on our GA1 coupler, which is about 49 bucks. You can get it in the link below, description below. There's also a JJC thumb grip here. And uh, you might see me constantly jerking around. I'm always checking my surroundings when I'm in downtown. You just never know. But anyway, so we're looking for this cool shot here. And uh, this is the 28 millimeter. I stopped here because I wanted to get the light pole in there. I like to get it. I like to get light poles in industrial type shots like this. I think it adds a lot, a kind of a very urban, cool urban look to it. Plus, they're great lead-in lines. So I'm going to focus on the second. Here's one. The one with a parking sign is what I'm focusing on. And there we go. So kind of a cool vertical. And the idea there is to obviously we've got a lot of geometry going on there. We had both, we've got diagonal lines, vertical lines, and of course we're horizontally straight. Uh, you could take a, of course a vertical shot, or a horizontal shot, it just does not look as cool. So, okay, now that was at 28, so let's go to 35 just for the heck of it. So here's a 35 millimeter crop. Still get some of the uh, light pull and building and stuff like that in there, very cool. So let's go to 50, here's a 50 millimeter crop. So if you can see that, there's our 28, and there's our 35. I think that 35 works better, and I would probably end up cropping that in Lightroom anyway. So just kind of taking this quick shot. And let me go ahead and get down here and shoot up a little bit there. Yeah, I'm not sure what, uh, what we'll get there, but uh, so very cool. I like, uh, so again, the goal was just to kind of try to get some views of downtown Indianapolis without being in downtown Indianapolis and this is the day after Christmas. Again, it just felt like these lent themselves to vertical shots so that we could get the brick in there, which of course Indianapolis known for its bricks, the brickyard. So anyway, okay, so that's the, uh, the shot we wanted. And that's going to do it for us today, guys. Please make sure and like and subscribe and all that good stuff. I really do appreciate you checking it out. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.